trending news. Yorubas will support Igbo if army attacks southeast again. Sunday, Igbo will won. Wow. This is outrageous. And it's nice speech from Sunday Igbo. Yoruba freedom fighter Sunday Igbo Wadeyemo, also known as Sunday Igbo, has won the Nigerian army against has won Nigerian army against the attacking of people in the southeast. Sunday Igbo warned that the Yoruba nation would support the eastern security and uh, sorry the southeast in repelling further attacks on residents of the southeast by the Nigerian army. This freedom fighter said that any attack people of the southeast is an attack on the Yoruba nation as well. Speaking through his media aide, Olayomi Koiki, Tony Bu said that any attack on the people of the southeast by the uh, uh, Nigerian army would be rebelled, would be rebelled, be rebelled. He charged the federal government to stop securing, uh, to stop security agencies from raiding the southeast. The statement read in part. He said, he "said we would like to inform the federal government of Nigeria that any attack on the southeast is is an attack on the Yoruba as well." So Biafran people have been targeted by the Yoruba army, and if there are any further attack on them, then we would have no other option but to support our Yorubas and sisters in Biafra. So that is it. This is what this man has just said. Um, Sunday, Igbo. Another outline I would like to read to you is about Elufai. He dares Nigerian labor and sack Kaduna University lecturers. Over what? Let's find out. Kaduna Kaduna Governor Elufai has fired Kaduna State University's lecturers who joined the Nigerian Labor Congress strike in the state. A statement on Tuesday by his spokesman, Muiwa Adekleke, made the announcement titled KDSG will not tolerate criminal acts or disgust as industrial actions. So the government said that any academic staff of KASU, that's KASU, that does not report for war will be definitely will definitely be dismissed. In order, it's ordered the, um, the management to submit a copy of the attendance registered for all categories of staff daily to the sec to the secretary to the state government and the commissioner of education he also all ministers departments and agencies must tender submit daily copies of attendance registered to the head of state and fire administration vowed not to submit its treasury to the entire to the entitled a uh, minority. It also vowed to reform and right side our public service to meet the needs and resources of the Cardinal States, even if the DLC strikes had a, a indefinite. So the government also added that it remains submitted to using all the resources to serve the interest of the majority of its citizens and provide social services beyond paying salaries. The latest development followed the face-off between the NLC and LFI-led Cardinal government. Governor LFI has fired Cardinal State University's lecturers who joined the Nigerian Labor Congress strike in the state. A statement on Tuesday was made as well. So, LFI administration vowed not to submit the treasury of the uh, titled minority. So, the government added that it remains committed to use all these resources to serve the interest of the majority of the citizens and provide 
uh, social services beyond paying salaries. I've said that before. And the latest development followed the face off between the NLC and Elufai led cardinal governments. Um, so the next headline says, um, I'm coming. Edna says, Lady found 12 days after she was declared missing. Wow. What a miracle. A 22 years old Nigerian lady identified as Katerin Isra Fego, who was declared missing in Delta State 12 days ago, has been found alive. To God be the glory. And there was a viral report earlier. That this girl left Oli, where she worked as a distributor for KEDI Healthcare to visit her boyfriend in Wari on Thursday, being the May, being the 6th of May 2021. A family member, Alessandra Omena Obeli, however, confirmed that she has been found on Tuesday and made this announcement on Facebook. She said, she wrote on the Facebook, she said, The Lord has kept Israel, neither sleep nor slumber, that God never fails me. She has been found. One Oba, Janet, also confirmed that Fego has returned home as she shared photos of Fego and her family members. She captured it. Finally, Catherine, Israel, Fego has been found and she is back home. Ogene Do. So we are grateful. Thank you. Thanks to you all to share the post of the prayer for her. Wow. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Wow. Concerning the headlines I just heard about um, the urban nature, about concerning what um, some people have just said, the statement they made that if federal government refuse or refused to grant IPOP its uh, freedom that Yoruba nation would join IPOP. The Yoruba must support Igbo to rebel any attacks on enemies sent by Aousa Fulani lords. That is it. So that is what Sunday Book have just said. And in injustice to one is an injustice to all. So any attack on Southeast or South South is an attack on Southwest. That is what Sunday Ibu have just said. So God bless the Yorubas that is a spirit. Let us um, let us join hands.